so it's been about like 10 minutes after me crying and I'm <laughs> I told myself I wouldn't cry guys I really told myself I wouldn't cry like the second time but it's like my brain is just like going like like in fireworks like I just can't like I actually feel like I'm going mental right now I really do and it really doesn't help that virus like I really told myself I wasn't gonna let it get to me but now it's like hey guys so I know I haven't filmed a video in about two weeks now um i do film a video every single week and i just wanted to put that out there i will be posting a video next week however the past two weeks have just been really stressful for me i'm like so exhausted right now teacher college just started and my head's just all over the place right now in this video i wanted to be talking about multiple sclerosis and stress um and this is specifically because <laughs> I do encounter stress here and there, however, the past two weeks have just been so horrible for me. Um, and I mean, I haven't really been uploading on my Instagram the past week, and then I also haven't been uploading videos on YouTube for two weeks now. And yeah, I was just pretty stressed out. I just figured I'd film this video so maybe I could just reassure myself that everything will be okay. <laughs> So in this video, I wanted to be talking about multiple sclerosis and stress. Um, stress has kind of been really rubbing me the wrong way um, for the past two weeks now. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure that you guys probably also realize that after watching that little clip that you guys just saw right now. I've just basically been feeling so stressed out, anxious, and tired. Um, and this is also because Teachers College actually just started last week on Monday. And it's, it's still pretty overwhelming to me. I just had a class this morning, or at 12. Right now it's 3.45. Um, and yeah, I just teacher's college just seems to be very overwhelming for me right now. I hope it gets easier. I don't know with COVID. Who knows? I just thought I would make a video on this and talk about some things that I, I do do to help myself kind of like control my stress levels. So in this video, I really wanted to be talking about multiple sclerosis and stress. Um, stress is something that I've honestly been going through over the past two weeks now. For those of you who don't know, I just finished my undergrad about three weeks ago. Um, and Teachers College started last week. I also have a video on this if you guys want to know more about what I'm doing with my life right now. So I'll put a link up here somewhere. Um, but yeah, so Teachers College started last Monday. It made me feel so anxious, very overwhelmed, very stressed out, and things just were not going well for me. Um, especially with my brain fog, it was so horrible to the point where I couldn't even remember where I was. Like, I was literally doing um, one of my classes online. The professor was online as well, and she wanted the class to also be, like, visible so that the instructor could see us, right? Um, and. It was just really hard because A, I was already nervous as it was, so to have other people be able to see me was kind of making me very nervous. And B, I wasn't even wearing a bra. Like, guys, I didn't know I had to be on live camera or whatever you want to call it because I don't know. I didn't think Zoom would work like that. Um, but yeah, so many things were just going wrong. Like, tell me why you can't Zoom into anything on Zoom. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I've cried about it so much to my sisters. Um, and one of my sisters actually told me that she would give me her projector that she uses for work. But she told me how she doesn't even ever use it, and she asked me if I wanted it, and I just said no. I don't like accepting defeat. I like dealing with every single challenge MS has been throwing my way. Even if it means that I can't walk and I need to literally be crawling on the ground, I will do that. I have no shame at this point. <laughs> a part of me actually felt like I was growing up and guys, I didn't like how it felt. Like it was just really scary to me because I don't know, like I've been in school for so long that it just, I don't know, I just felt like reality was starting to hit me and I was like, oh my God, I have to grow up now and what is that gonna entail? Like, I don't know. It was just really annoying how it just felt like I was getting no break. I mean, my next break, from the rate it's going, I think it's in August all the way to September. And then September, school starts for the little kids, and then I get to teach the little kids. But to be honest with you, I'm a little nervous because I don't know what's going to happen with COVID and where that's going to be taking us because 
If I have to teach kids online, honestly, I think I'm actually going to lose it. In this video, I'm just going to be getting into some of the things that have been helping me to kind of just calm my stress levels and regulate it in a way. I just want you guys to know that the things that I do talk about from here on are things, are, I guess you could call tips of um, some things that you guys can also try out to help you deal with your stress. But it's also not to say that everything that I do talk about is going to help you 100%. These are things that help me, um, and I just thought I would share that with you guys because maybe that will be helpful for you MSers. So the first thing I wanted to be talking about was just find your outlet. Um, and when I say find your outlet, I'm talking about find something or find something to do that genuinely makes you so happy. Like this could be anything. This could be reading, this could be filming videos, this could be editing pictures, this could be photography. Just find something that makes you happy and always make time for that. Because the moment you're stressed out and you find something that makes you happy, it literally just changes your mood instantly. So for me, right, I wanted to be talking more about multiple sclerosis, um, which is what, what I'm doing right now. And if I had to be honest with you guys, this makes me so happy. Like, actually being open with you guys and talking about every little thing I go through or just talking about some tips or just talking about anything relevant to multiple sclerosis um, has just, I don't know, just been my outlet in a sense where it's like I'm able to connect with quite a few of you guys. Like, some of you guys leave comments on my videos on YouTube and then quite a few of you guys actually message me on Instagram and I do get back to you. So if you haven't actually messaged me on Instagram and you've always thought to but you just never wanted to because you weren't sure if I was going to reply, I had to pause it for a second because I couldn't breathe when I was talking. But um, <laughs> but yeah, I will reply back to you. Um, the only times I don't reply back to people is when they just say hi on an Instagram message. Like, give me some context to your message. Um, or if they're telling me about something that they found interesting about my video or if they're able to relate to something that I'm going through, I will reply to you. Um, otherwise I won't so just give me context and I'll get back to you I genuinely feel happy making videos on YouTube and being able to connect to a lot of people it makes me happy but for the past two weeks I haven't been making a video on YouTube right so I haven't had my outlet there to support me for when I was feeling stressed out and yeah that was just one of the mistakes that I've made over the last two weeks So the second thing I've written down is that remember that you're an MS warrior and if you're an MS or and you're watching my video right now, I just hope you know that the next time that you're stressed out, you tell yourself this because we've already gone through really horrible, like just horrible experiences with our MS and it's like we can get through like quite a few things, like it's crazy, like I didn't realize this until I was crying to my sister on Monday. I was telling her how I couldn't do teacher's college and I just wanted to quit. And my sister literally told me, she's like, Pri, you've literally been through so much shit that not a lot of people go through. And what she was referring to was not just my multiple sclerosis, but my experience with being bullied. Um, I've just been through a lot, right? And it's like, my sister was trying to reassure me that just because I got through that, so for those of you MSers watching my video right now, um, just know that the next time that you're stressed out about something, um, just know that what you're stressed out, of, stressed out about is probably nothing to be stressed out about because we went through everything we've been through with multiple sclerosis. If we're able to go through this, it's like, I feel like we could deal with anything really. So if you're feeling stressed out, just remember that we've got through and we are still going through a hard time with our multiple sclerosis. And if we're able to get through that, we can get through anything. So if you're feeling stressed out for whatever reason, just remember that you will be okay. And this is something that I was just failing to realize last week. Honestly, I wish I had myself to talk to. I'm like the queen at planning everything. I need to have a plan. Like, I'm such a structured person. Even if you guys were to look at my Instagram right now, I have a column of, I guess you could say a black column, and within that black column I have a video, blog post, video, blog post, video, blog post, kind of just going down. And then in my middle column right now I have only pictures of food that I either make or just buy. For the most part it's what I make. 
Um, and then the third column is just random pictures that I just think to post on Instagram. I think I'm like this too because with kids you need to be structured with them. And I've been spending a lot of time with kids that it's like I just learned to structure everything with my life and this is just the way I think. So for me, I have a plan right here for school. I have five courses listed up here. I'm going to put it over here so I can see where I'm pointing. Do you guys have a hard time flipping over pages too? Okay, there we go. <laughs> so as I mentioned, right, I'm taking five courses and those five courses, I've kind of color coded them up here and I've kind of written down everything that's going to be due all the way to August 4th. So these are all the things that are going to be due in all my courses and I've kind of ordered them according to what day they're going to be due and I've done this because I can kind of see what's going to be due soon kind of thing. Um, because that was just my way to stay organized and not stress out over the stupidest things. Um, so yeah, planning things out really has been working out well for me. And maybe it'll also work out well for you. For those of you who just hate planning things, don't plan things if you don't like doing it. But I'm pretty sure you're probably one of those people who kind of just live in the moment. And kind of just take things as they come. Or as they go. And I'm just not like that because I tend to stress out a lot when I do that. Um, so that's why I always stick to a schedule of things to do because it just makes the most sense to me. It really does. Accept the things that you can and cannot do and just don't rush things. Like this is what really f***s over with stress for me. As for the things that I cannot do, I think I've come to the acceptance where I will be okay with not being able to do something that I was supposed to get done. So as I've mentioned, right, I kind of create plans for everything, right? And this plan for teacher's college, if I'm not able to finish an assignment on a day that I give myself prior to the due date, I shouldn't be hard on myself for that. Like, just don't rush things and just accept the fact that you can't do something when you actually can't do it. These things are what's been stressing me out quite a bit in a sense where for the things that I can't do are things that I tend to rush to do. Like, do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, if I can't um, walk fast enough, I will try to walk fast enough just so that I can get it over with. It's kind of like pertaining to this plan, right? It's like when I'm trying to get something done and I can't get it done, I want to end up rushing it just so that I can get it done. And this one is a really big one. I feel like this is the literally the number one thing you should be thinking about out of everything that I talk about in this video. Making time for yourself really just ensures that self-care that you should have. This is something I honestly didn't have last week. Um, I clearly was not making any videos on YouTube last week and I wasn't really posting much on my Instagram and I just wasn't making time for myself and making time for myself meant that I was making videos on YouTube and posting on my Instagram because those are the things that actually do make me happy and just being able to connect with quite a few of you guys is so amazing and I just hadn't been making time for that. Um, so just making time for yourself is something that I think you should all remember to do, especially when you're feeling stressed out, because it's just something that is so easy to forget about. It really is, especially when you're trying to get something done. It's like you're so fixated on getting that one task done that you just forget to care about yourself. And I tend to forget about myself when I'm stressed out, because usually when I'm stressed out is because I'm trying to get a task done. And usually when I'm very fixated on getting a task done, that's the only thing I will focus on. I won't think about anyone or anything else. Um, and I won't even think about myself. Like, I won't even think about the fact that I hadn't even eaten. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I wonder why I'm 97 pounds, and maybe this is why. Um, <laughs> I've literally written down Wim Hof. Um, I, my last video was on the Wim Hof's method. Um, so I'm going to put a link here if you guys haven't checked it out, but I really do find that he regulates stress levels so well, like to the point where guys, I don't think anyone has ever calmed me down to the extent to which a man behind a screen has. Like, you know what I mean? Like, listening to his breathing techniques, doing the cold showers, the meditation has been helping me so much. I'm not going to get too much into it because I did talk about it in my last video. Be aware of what cause. Be aware of your breathing. Slow it down. Honestly, I've been watched Wim Hof so many times. I have everything memorized. Okay, I feel like for those of you who don't even know what I'm talking about, don't even know what that reference was. But um, <laughs> to know what causes your stress and just think about the ways 
of how you can change that mindset. Because you can be stressed out over the most stupidest things, but a situation is not stressful until you make it stressful. And I do find that a lot of us forget about this. I know I do. Um, situations are oftentimes not stressful for me, but it's only stressful because I make it stressful because I tend to overreact over the stupidest things. Don't give up. No matter how hard things are getting for you, for whatever is going on with your life, just know that if you're an MSer, we've been through like kind of hard experiences and it's like if we, if we were able to, I can't even speak, but if we were able to go through everything that we had gone through with our diagnosis and if we're continuing to go through what we're going through right now, it's like we can tackle anything, we can fight anything and hashtag MS Warrior. <laughs> That's pretty much it to my video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram and check out my blog. I'll post the links down below as always. And I'll see you guys in my next video that I post next week. Bye guys. That dog, I swear to you, always distracts all of my videos. I'm just gonna like just talk a little louder so you guys can hear it. Okay. Um <laughs>